Well, today we're looking at an unusual 12 inch action figure. Uh, so I was looking on eBay, I just wanted some sort of cheap bodies. So I searched for 12 inch action figure and put it in price order. And then this one came up, there was a few of these, but this one was the cheapest. It was uh, 13 quid, 12.99. And it's for a 12 inch Elite Hands Enemy Edition figure. And this is from Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus. So this was a sort of a, a, a I think it must have been one of like the game freebie where you buy a game and you get a freebie or some sort of tie-in uh, to Wolfenstein 2. And this is uh, Terror Billy, the cold-blooded terrorist. It's really nicely packaged. It's sort of in vintage style packaging, complete with pre-printed damage. Uh, it says there's other figures, but I can't see that they do exist, which is a shame. She had elite hands. General Engel, Elite Soldat, that would have been a good one, and then Elsmirza, which is some sort of ship, and then on the other side it says what's inside, five deadly weapons, diesel craft work, shock hammer, laser craft work, machine pistol, and a Kriegspiel hatchet. He's got authentic bomber jacket included as a bonus. Uh, it does say um, super, super bonus or above bonus. Field manual and poster. They're not in there, so I don't know whether you actually did get them. And on the back, you've got Terror Billy, and it gives you his lowdown. So, murderer, spy, saboteur, assassin, postman. Uh, and then it just gives the details of. I was presuming the game with some nice graphics. No, don't hit me. Um, should we open it up and have a look? Let's come back. Okay, so you get very nice packaging with absolute mad assortment of guns and his hatchet. Uh, you get a spare bomber jacket and then you get the, the figure. Um, he looks to be, let's get him out, see if he stands up. There we go. He's really nicely sculpted. Great face, nice ball jointed neck. He comes in a. Let's, uh, let's move this packaging. Put that down there. So he comes with some nicely sort of molded boots, some cargo pants style trousers. He comes in a t shirt with Airborne Ranger on it. And he comes with this faux leather jacket, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's got a proper zip on it. it. Feels good. It's got a great look at that. That's so nice. And you see the leather texture. So really, really good. Like I say great sculpt. Feels to be really poseable. What I'll do is um, we'll try his other jacket on, and then I'll uh, take his clothes off, and we can see what his body looks like. But it feels quite poseable. Let's have a look. So here he is in his t-shirt, Ranger Airborne, really nicely done graphics. Uh, at first I thought he had a crack in his arm, can you see it? But it's actually that's where the mould line is, I think they're sort of glued together. So he's got all joint wrists, really nice, soft grippy hands, uh, no swivel bicep joints, he's just got a normal elbow joint there. Nothing on the back of the t-shirt. Let's get his other jacket on. There we go. The other jacket is really stiff. It's quite thick material and it's lined. Um, but yeah, quite nice sort of flying jacket. Um, as you see, fully lined. Mad quality. Should we have a look what he looks like without his clothes on in the nicest possible way? Okay, so not the most poseable body in the world, but it's really nice considering it's, you know, it's like 12 quid. So he's got ball joint hips, swivel waist, ball joint shoulders, just cut joints on his elbows, ball joint there, cut joint on his knees, no movable knee plates but it does look like he should have had because his knees are moulded on um, and then just cut joint, you know, focus, nope, cut joint on the feet. So he's really nice and poseable. 
I mean, I was buying him just for the body, but I'm going to leave him because he is because the clothes are just stunning. So his trousers come with actual sort of Velcro gathers at the way <coughs> at the bottom to get them into the boot. Everything is super high quality. I don't know who made this as far as a toy company. I don't know if there's anything on the box, but let's, I'll get him dressed and we'll have a look. It doesn't actually say who made it, it's just made by Bethesda Software. That's the only one on it. So he holds his guns quite nicely. Because he hasn't got swivel joints, he can't really hold them in both hands. Um, the guns are quite nice. There's a couple of little paint apps, but not a lot. Um, detailed, but probably could do with a good dry brushing. I mean, it, it's worth the 12 quid alone for the leather jacket, but if you wanted the guns as well, I mean, that would be nicely to detail up a cabra or something. And then he also gets a little axe. Everyone should have an axe. Yeah, the leather jacket alone, I think, is worth the money. It's just amazing. So, yeah, I'm amazingly sort of value for money, this guy, and I'm so glad I saw him. Uh, there's a few on eBay, and in the UK, they seem to be going for about 12, 13 quid, so I imagine there's a warehouse full of them somewhere. In the US, they tend to go for 60 to $80, which is, I think, a bit mad. But, yeah, well worth it. So, uh, get yourself a Terra Billy. And uh, pop him on the shelf, pride of place. Well, thanks for watching. If you want to see more of these 12-inch style figures, let me know. I've got an uh, attic full of them at the moment. Uh, different ones that I've collected over the years. But uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Like and subscribe even. And I'll see you next time. Thanks then. Bye.